Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization VI. We're wrapping up our Faith Race. It uh, looks similar to probably the other games we've done Faith Races. I apologize for that, but uh, it is what it is. I like, let's go to Kitty. Meow. Meow. So what's our first promo? Nothing that exciting. Same. Probably gonna hold off on buying. Um, there are only so many like apostle promotions in the uh, in the pool, and the fact that we've got some good ones already means I probably want to use up some of these apostles in these lands before I start buying even more worse ones to go up to like Tokyo and stuff. <laughs> State of the pantry <laughs> address. I love that. Uh, the pool is limited. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how to say if it's predetermined or not. And chaplain, yes, chaplain only works for military units. It's my hundred gold. Ooh, I don't mind that. Stream idea. We give you five items in my pantry to make a meal with. I could do that. I like cooking a lot, actually. You just run you start running out of promotions to hand out, Captain Feeder. Okay. Debaters, where are you at? Here's a debater. Standing okay, so another another little little uh, for for those of you who not aren't super familiar with things, you can buy two religious units in a particular city. If you're standing on your enemy's holy site, they can only buy one, and so you limit you limit their response to what you're doing uh, by sort of strategically stepping on their holy sites. This guy doesn't do much. Spread some capitalism there. Oh, and yeah, this gets a little buggy because I can't skip now. It's annoying. Are there wonders that let you choose the promotions? No. No, you can get apostles. They just won't have promotions. I don't think I've ever actually seen that happen, though, Captain Feeder. Plus, holy sites give you a defensive bonus in the holy combat. Yes, indeed. Another reason to step on them. Let's bring all these guys up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Fair enough, Braves. Fair enough. What do you have? Ooh, translator debater. Okay. So we can be a little brave with that guy. This guy is a debater. Translator's good. Not that it matters, but none of the other ones do, really. I could also grab a couple more and have them hang around here defensively and just start trying to fight all of their units. Seems like a reasonable option as well. I'll probably wait one turn on that.
lowest is war is hell. All the bad promotions. I'm just pressing enter in between these to make it go faster. It, an enter will take you to your next thing that's in the queue here. Yeah, exactly, Swoo. I agree. So this is the situation I don't like to see. Um, and the AI is better than they used to be. They used to attack out of their city centers and suicide themselves. Um, so I can't... I really don't want to like waste charges and have him be able to reconvert this city real quick. So we'll see. Uh, it's like, we'll see what we can do over here. I'll bring up a debater there. I do want to step on this holy site, so let's do that. Let's see if they do it. Nice. And then moved out of the city center. That is good. One of those, one of those. There's some Judaism gone, which is nice. Uh, Lil, Lil Suck, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. We've got Darwin. Don't really care about Darwin. There you go, Darwin. You did it. <laughs> I know, <laughs> for real though, Swoo. <laughs> for real though. Well, that's why I like freaked out about the YouTube stuff because I'm like, I see some weird stuff. I celebrate fascism from time to time. <laughs> Not in real life, but in Civ terms. <laughs> Does definitely create some awkward sentences. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you have to be standing next to the city center in order to convert. This is a proselytizer. You want to use your proselytizers on your super high pop cities. Would go well up there, but we can just we can just use them on um, Genghis's cities. It's just as efficient. Although I guess Hattusa is the best one, even though it's only pop three. Now nah, we can use the other ones there. I think. Yeah. See, I don't want this. I don't know what our holy city is. Not sure. None of this really matters, so we'll just arbitrarily go to something like aluminum.
So this is my debater. No. This is my debater. So let's switch those. And we'll see what they do as far as like trying to come after us. And I can bring them a guru. Actually going to go ahead and use a spread and heal up this one. I don't want to have any of my units die. <laughs> yeah, we're going for a religious victory for sure. For sure. I suppose we could do this. We'll see what happens. Am I losing 311 culture per turn? Wait, what do you mean? Losing? Oh, Twitch compression is bad? Oh. That's weird. I don't want to use a prosthetic. It's only pop three. Let's use it at the pop nine. Wipe that out. Okay, making some progress here. Again, he's pretty free to convert. It's up here that matters. We do need to worry about her other three cities. So these guys, when they're done, are probably going to hop back in the pool and uh, go over and convert these while we just sort of mass convert Genghis. Um, and then once we're out of a few, we'll start we'll, we'll start amassing a second line back home. Sorry if you guys can hear that pounding. So yeah, he's he's messing around up here. Um, they converted Timbuktu. I'm gonna do that and grab one. Rats, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime. Welcome in, Rats Jim. Appreciate it very very much. Welcome into the shop. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks. that okay do you hear the thump thump for religious victories is it easier to convert non-religious civs first or try for the strongest religious first i lone wolf i my because like if you convert someone that's fr like free and then the ai comes in and reconverts then you've wasted your faith but if i take my faith apostles and convert dido and Di and judaism is gone then i don't have to worry about judaism anymore regardless of with you're free or not like i usually wind up trying to finish on a free sieve um although it it's it, it's kind of arguably effective when you have this much faith and stuff um so it doesn't matter too too much but i would tend to go to try to wipe out a whole religion um rather than take someone who's an easy conversion it also depends on when like wh what you're doing in the game and where you're at time wise turn wise things like that of course but all right this guy is debater where did your there was an apostle here. This is my last proselytizer charge on this guy. I don't really think I want to use it. There was the uh, capital city. So that's five error score for converting them.
I wouldn't really pay attention to this too much. This is not how you win religious games. It is not through passive spread. It is through active spread like we're doing now. I would pretty much ignore the conversion. The, when that matters is like when it's early on and like you've converted a couple of your own cities and it's like converts in three. It's like, okay, cool. I don't have to waste a missionary charge or whatever. But yeah, I, I tend to brute force everything with religious victories. I don't know where that apostle went, and it makes me nervous. Because, again, even a single apostle can launch an inquisition and uh, get her religion back in the game. This is the way, Chimera. Azel, thanks for hanging out. See you, see you tomorrow. Yeah, I want to get I want to get our uh, debaters up in her apostle's face. This guy is proselytizer. Nine is pretty high. Um, I want. Siphon funds to be unavailable. Now, granted, people have promised that they weren't going to continue spying on me, and they've they've actually honored that, it seems like. But I don't really want to risk it. Um, this doesn't matter so much. I actually don't really care about my cities growing, but the loyalty is useless anyways. So we'll just see what we can do with that. See you, Mythrock. Have a good one, buddy. Great work, Heist. Okay. This is nothing that we wanted. All right. This was not the Diplo game for us. Granted, I'd be I'd be a little more cautious about the way we're voting and take more time with it if we were actually doing that. But I think I think we made good choices. How are you not converted? How did I forget about you? Dude is a translator. Why don't we use that here? That should convert it. Pretty small city. Welcome back, Blurg Blurg. How you doing, bud? All right, so again, this is our debater. You, these units do operate like regular units with flanking bonus, bonuses and stuff. Um, you cannot fortify. But I'm going to let them take the first attack. I don't like weakening my units. Translator, debater here. So let's go ahead and join these dudes. We might need that debater hit. You're having the best day? I love that, man. What's going on that's so good? Let's see if we can knock you down or beg or two. I don't feel like you should lord that over us like that. Oh, guess what just died? Oh. Oh, no. All right. Well, we'll keep playing uh you youtubers and me since it's we're only 20 minutes into this and i will hope that my connection comes back up guess the comcast dot guy didn't uh didn't solve the problem shocker huge shocker i am shocked that comcast didn't fix it on the first time Okay. Let's go ahead and 
send all these off. Um, yeah, they're kind of fighting each other. I like that. Oh, God. Niani. Get out of here. Wait. Oh, why was I on that? I thought I had picked... Uh, clicking. I'm all distracted on account of my internet being down. But it's cool. It's cool. There you go. Back to capitalism, you you dogs. You swine. In order to rally people, governments need it. Globalization doesn't really matter. We have promotion governors here that we can promote. Again, doesn't really matter. Chaplain. Okay, I picked a chaplain. Dear Lord. Debater is exactly what I wanted, though. So, this works out pretty well. And then I'm going to go ahead and get some more apostles around here to participate in all this religious warfare that's going on. Uh, it's a little, little silly. Oh. I have two of you. Okay. Pretty low pop city. Can just use a regular one there. This is our last proselytizer. I certainly don't want to use it, particularly when that unit's healthy. All right, I think I can kill this guy. There we go. Capitalism everywhere. Is this is proselytizer. I think that's fine. That should be. Oh, well, I thought it was going to be a one one click flip, but it didn't work out. Try that. It's a pretty big, pretty big commitment with that translator slash whatever else. Atusa. There we go. All right, so all of this is converted to capitalism, and we continue our march this way. Well, back home, these guys do whatever. I think I'm gonna stay in the water. Our movement in the water is rather nice. And their road infrastructure isn't fantastic. So I think setting these guys up to jump back in their embarked mode is the faster way to handle it. Ten spreads on this dude. All right, so as long as she doesn't have any religious units up here, I think we've taken care of her religion. She doesn't have enough faith to really do anything. Um, and I think we've then solved step one of this religious victory equation. Definitely want to beat these dudes up. So again, if we just add the flanking bonus into this guy. Oh, got really close to one-shotting it. This guy can't really come in and clean up. Wow, I'm getting proselytizers here, which is kind of crazy. But that'll really help when we start the second uh, flanking maneuver. So we'll do that. Let's get a guru. Go with these guys. Yeah, I feel like we're just getting a shortcut here. Which is nice. Try 
translator debater. Okay, come on over there. <laughs> Might be faster for these guys to get in the water too. I'm not really sure. All right, now we're looking for religious units up here. Warrior monk is kind of whatever. Don't need a proselytizer. We'll just use that at Carthage. Maybe I will use this. I think that's fine. Okay. None of that nonsense. That's good. And yeah, again, we just kind of want to use our proselytizers here. Try to kill units, wipe out religion for free. So here's where we're running out of promotions. So I won't be buying more apostles at the moment. Proselytizer orators. Great. Look at all these apostles. Holy cow. Japan's going to give me a run for my money. There's some good old fashioned capitalism. All right. Don't care about the city state. Making a little bit of progress. Guru doesn't do much. Sit in the middle of that is okay. Proselytizer debater. Let's, oh, I was going to say, let's go ahead and use it if we have it available this turn. Basically just need the, here we go. Maybe two clicks on that one. Nope, don't need to make any deals, really. Should wrap this up in a few turns. Oh boy, that's a lot of damage. I'm going to go ahead and take that kill. I don't see any other units down here exactly. Uh, and then we can fall back with these guys. I don't really want to provoke too much. We want to still, just like in military conflict, we want to stay pretty defensive with our units. Don't don't play with their health too much. Let's 
And let's make sure we re-up our economic alliance. I have 21,000 gold. <laughs> I just noticed. What do we do with that? I don't know, man. What do you do when you're the richest guy in the world by like a mile? You're done. You're done. Okay. So now we've pretty much, other than these other cities, which aren't likely to spread it on their own, we've wiped out Judaism so that we can con continue to uh, convert Shaka, who should be relatively free, and then squeeze out Japan and Matthias. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in this video. It'll be a little bit shorter than the typical one. Uh, I lost my internet connection and... I gotta explain to Twitch chat what is going on. So if you're watching, uh, I apologize for the short video. We'll finish it up in the next one. And uh, thank you so much for watching. See you then.